Hi, I'm Trish. Have you ever seen an unsafe condition at work and wondered, what can I do about that? There is something you can do using the FAA Safety Management Information System, or SMIS, Unsatisfactory Condition Report, or UCR. Today, we're going to discuss what conditions should and should not be reported using Form OA-1800-1, walk you through the easy-to-use online submission procedure, explain what happens after the UCR is submitted, and show you how UCR coordinators can use the online form to document actions taken to close the UCR. So let's start at the beginning. Here are the conditions that should be reported using a UCR. Any situation that could contribute to accidents, incidents, or present a hazard to personnel and or equipment. Systems or system components exhibiting chronic unsatisfactory maintenance or operational characteristics. Technical publications, aeronautical charts, or engineering drawings with incomplete, inaccurate, illegible, or inconsistent guidance, and support equipment such as tools and materials that is inadequate, incomplete, unavailable, or adversely affecting performance of work. Some conditions are not appropriate for UCRs, such as routine maintenance or repair work, such as painting or file cabinet repair, Grievances due to staffing, personal or personnel problems, rules or regulations involving housekeeping, administrative practices or working conditions, classified information, and misunderstandings or errors in applying established operational administrative procedures or methods. Your supervisor can correct most conditions quickly through management processes. If you've established that a UCR should be submitted, you can use Form OA-1800-1 on the FAA intranet. The automated online submission eliminates inconsistencies in the UCR process and ensures that unsatisfactory conditions are identified and addressed in a timely, consistent, and efficient manner. If you don't have access to the intranet, you can also photocopy form OA-1800-1 and send it to your supervisor or UCR coordinator. Let's get started. Go to SMIS dot FAA dot gov. This will take you to the Smith's homepage. You don't need a username or password to access the OA-1800-1 form, but you will need these software requirements. Find the unsatisfactory condition report user link and click where it says here to begin the process. When the blank form comes up, complete blocks 2 through 16. Remember that all the highlighted fields must be filled in. Some fields are blank for you to type in, and some have pull-down menus where you can make a selection from the choices. Sometimes an unsatisfactory condition is best documented with a picture, video, or audio recording. If you have supplemental files, click the Add Attachment button at the bottom of the form to include them in your UCR. When you're finished, Click the Submit button and you'll receive a confirmation screen and record number that was automatically assigned to your report. What happens after a UCR is submitted? The report is emailed to the originator. If he or she submitted an email address, the originator's immediate supervisor and the designated local and headquarters UCR coordinators. The supervisor has 10 days to verify the report and is responsible for ensuring that the UCR is objectively evaluated, acted upon, and addressed promptly within 30 days. If a UCR cannot be resolved at the local level, it should be sent to the office best equipped to address the problem. If the action to resolve the UCR will take more than 30 days, additional emails are sent to the originator, the immediate supervisor, the second level supervisor. UCR coordinators and the headquarters program office to explain the delay. As management is taking action to resolve a condition reported by a UCR, the UCR coordinator can use the Smith's online system to document the steps being taken. The procedure begins the same way by going to smis.faa.gov on the FAA intranet. Under UCR in the main menu, click Modify UCR. 
On the next page, enter the record number and other information which is contained in the email notification you received regarding the UCR and click Submit. Now you will see the action form. Many of the fields will already contain information about the UCR. Update the fields as appropriate. You can also add supporting attachments. If the report needs to be forwarded above the local level, select that option. How can a UCR be closed? Management must completely address the condition described in the report and must complete the required action to resolve the condition within the given time frame. Sometimes a supervisor may administratively close multiple UCRs addressing similar issues at a facility and consolidate them into one open UCR. Also, a UCR may be withdrawn in writing by the originator at any time. Remember that planned actions or actions in progress are not sufficient to justify the closure of a UCR. If a UCR is not closed, Smiths will continue to send email reminders every 25 days as long as a condition remains open. As an FAA employee, you are in the best position to observe unsafe conditions and take the first step to making sure they're resolved. UCR Form OA-1800-1 is readily available, easy to use, and automatically tracks conditions until they are resolved. The next time you encounter an unsafe condition at work, don't wonder, what can I do about that? Talk about it with your supervisor, then go to smis.faa.gov and do something about it.